Good morning, good evening, or good afternoon, folks. I'm not on a public fat footpath walk. I'm not on my bike. I've got beautiful views here, which I'll show you around shortly. I'm at Hambury, well, just outside Hambury. The, the sign did say Hambury on the road, so it's the Hambury area. It's a place called the Ginny Ring. It's the first time I've been here. Now, one of my viewers over in Australia, Sharon, hi Sharon to you and your daughter and your grandson. She asked me, oh, could you film the Ginny Ring some time ago? But I've been a bit busy on my travels. I've had a bit of a, you know, run around sort of morning this morning. Stress, I hate it. So, um, anyway, finish with all that hopefully for today now and uh, I've decided to come here and have a nose so if I say any more don't forget to like and subscribe folks I'm trying to get the uh, subscribers up subscribers up to a thousand so I need your help um, let's go and have a look round now I've just pulled up at the car park it's a big car park and uh, there's overflow car park which I'll show you and uh, then we'll slowly have a little uh, nose round. I must say, from just pulling up, uh, it's beautiful. Anyway, you'll be the you can make your own mind up on that. Could be Obson's choice. Catch you in a bit, folks. Follow me. Follow me, folks. Yeah, there's a bit of information on the uh, area. It's that got a Hanbury circular walk here. It's six and three quarter miles. It's combining canal side walking, hedge line farm, beech woodland and ex historic buildings and parkland. It's fully way marked so you won't get lost. That's pretty good and it shows where I am at the moment. So uh, yeah, lovely. And there's a sign there to start you on the walk, which I won't be going on today, but I'll be back, as Arnie said. Follow me. That's where the car park is up there, folks. And I've just gone for a walk. I'm in like the garden area at the moment. There's a lovely path here. And I must say, the views are beautiful. Uh, and uh, it's a lovely, I must say, it's a lovely pond here. Let's look through the keyhole here, if I can. Yeah, really nice. So, uh, Yeah, I O. I O. Yeah, there's the uh, Hambury Church in the distance. So the views are fantastic. Again, this is free, folks, to come along. Some lovely uh, horses here in the field. It is beautiful. The sun's gone in a little bit. I'm going to do a little swing round so you can see where I am all the way round. Looks like they've got a canteen up there or snack bar or cafe. I'm only going to do a distance shot because we've got folks all sat there. I don't want to impose on them. But uh, yeah, really nice. Hi yo. I oh. Hi folks, thanks for joining me. Uh, the ranch behind, that's for Brian. Um, yeah, it's lovely. So like fantastic views. Um, it wasn't what I was expecting. I was expecting just a, a few little shops here. So, uh, it's nice to see the horses there. Horses for courses. So, uh, yeah, brilliant. So let's go have a look round, folks. Let's go and have a nose. Follow me. Well, the horses have sort of moved round. They're side by side. And they've just uh, 
change position there so uh, a little close up of that one yeah very nice yeah again don't if you do come here folks don't get feeding the horses always try and mention that because uh, uh, some of them are on special diets so anyway follow me folks follow me ah, nice little uh, duck here coming along thought a bit of company for a minute then but he's too busy getting some food yeah again there's the Malvern Hills in the background I must say this is a really nice place to visit uh, very relaxing uh, really really nice um, so it's having a little pan round uh, there's no one in the water there folks got some sort of statue there I must say it's lovely So that's coming from Bromsgrove. There's one of the Ginny, Ginny Ring buildings here. This way takes you into Hanbury. It's gone quite busy with cars. Gone to the M25 all of a sudden. It is a busy uh, pretty place this. There's a sign what they got here at the shops. Let's go and have a look round folks. Follow me. We've got a, a British craft shopper. You can see me in the reflection down there. Hi folks. Uh, yeah this looks a nice shop. We've got some lovely metal stuff here on display as well. And that's the name of the uh, company if you want to check them out follow me yeah that's quite nice I'm not sure what it's supposed to be but uh, it does look nice that's so how these are nice here on the left folks as well follow me folks lady at the shop if I could do a quick uh, just to show you what they've got it's a lovely shop this got some really nice stuff and I love that wheel there that looks nice so uh, yeah looks like they've got something for everybody in here it's gonna have another look round um, oh it's caught me on something there some nice jewelry there good job I haven't brought my daughter Olivia with me follow me seems to go on and on surprising how big these buildings are that's nice Abbey Road there yeah there's some quite interesting items here folks if you're in the area these are nice as well absolutely lovely so brilliant let's go and have a look around some of the other stalls now folks just going to do a little pan around there's a bit of everything in this shop lovely and i'm not going to go upstairs but there is a card section upstairs so i've just come to another little store here i must say they're all friendly the folks here uh, right so i can see a lot of uh, what is it i mean obviously i can see you've got lots of materials this is all handmade stuff is it it is yeah yeah that's a pin cushion yeah oh lovely yeah i must say there's a great selection of stuff down here 
That looks nice, all the colours there. Yeah, brilliant. So, uh, yeah, all looks good. Go into another shop now. This is bespoke handmade leather goods. And I must say, the stuff's really nice in here and a friendly lady as well. Let's go and have a quick look. Some of the glass cases there, little wallets coming round. These are all, all handmade here. Uh, some nice little baby shoes there that make a nice present. They're personalised as well. So, uh, yeah, brilliant. And also, I like those machines there. They look good. So, uh, yeah, don't forget to check this shop out when you come down. As I say, the, uh, the bags are really nice. Nice smell of leather there as well. Some nice dog harnesses. Again, I should imagine they'll make you some made to measure if need be. So, uh, dog leads. Yeah, come and check it out. In here, this is all handmade. Here. Really nice. So another shop to check out here. So right, brilliant. Thanks a lot. In the Terry's shop, I've just been in there. They haven't got a sign. Oh, well, actually, it's on the letterbox there. Check them out. Some nice stuff. Follow me. Oh, not classic guitars. Uh, lovely little set up here he's working away so what do you build the guitars do you or take it yeah yeah brilliant yeah, how long it how long do they take to make um, well it's only one second week i've been working from home yeah so i'm hoping to build one a month oh They're brilliant around 200 hours okay well well done so if you're at the Ginny ring come and check him out Lovely guitars it's, there. It's two there, which is sort of three quarters away from it. Yeah, fantastic. The front on that yeah, well done. It's nice to see a craftsman at work. Well done. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. The farmhouse kitchen there. Looks really nice. Oh, John, folks, I can't really film any more than this because. Uh, They've got a full restaurant and people are, you know, got to respect people's privacy. But it looks really nice anyway. Just do a little shop round here. Fantastic place. Yeah, some lovely uh, places here. And I must say, they're all, uh, so far, very friendly. All the people here friendly, hard-working people. So come and support them, folks. It's a local place. I say the guitars look fantastic. That chap was making. Oh, shortly. Can't wait to have a look over there in a minute. Follow me. Yeah, there's some studios here. There's an art studio, which looks absolutely fantastic. But you have got to uh, make an appointment to go in there. Come and check that out. And also this side, there's another little woodworking uh, shop in here which looks fantastic, so check them out as well. It's called The Pottery, folks. Uh, two nice ladies in there. This is all made on site and painted. So if you want a sign for your house, uh, Again, please do not touch. If you bring your kids down, make sure they don't. Uh, I must say, some fantastic quality stuff. There's me in the picture as well. Yeah, so if you want a sign for your house made or some individual stuff, this is the place to come. It's really nice. And it's reasonably priced as well for handmade for something like that 20 pounds it's beautiful 
Anyway, catch you at the next shop. There's a little card there with some details. Follow me, folks. Oh, yes. Yeah, so not making the stoppers. Yeah. Yeah, this is a first for me to see uh, something actually made. So, uh, that's brilliant. Just going back in the... Uh, looks nice, it looks hot in there. That's it, let's get a zoom in a little bit there. Yeah, that's fantastic. Right. Yeah, so, uh, you see you've got all this stuff here. And, uh, so how long does that take you to make from start to finish? Oh. 13, 14 minutes from now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you can come here, folks, and get stuff made on site. Brilliant. Right. These are all nice here. Don't forget to check this shop out. Some lovely stuff here. And it's all reasonably priced. Sure. Yes, OK, all right. Yeah, lovely. Even to the ceiling, there's glass everywhere. Absolutely fantastic. Lovely. What's going on here then? I'm uh, making what's called a punty. Yeah. A temporary attachment which sticks to the base of the piece. Yeah. So you can break it off and then start to work the top of it. Ah, oh, I see. So don't try this at home, folks. No, it sticks now. <laughs> Yeah. So you see a bit of foil, so it makes the glass a little bit weaker in that yeah. point. Give it a tap. Yeah. Glass breaks away. Well done. Lovely. Right, I'm going to carry on and look outside now. Yeah, so Stuart Fletcher, top glass. Worth checking them out, folks. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. Look what's in the tree there. And I've got a phone call. Catch you in a bit. Yeah, some more. There. Lovely. Got a handmade chocolates deli here, folks. It does say open on the door, so I'm going to go in and see if I can get a little shot. So that's uh, the chocolate being whipped over there. Then uh, <laughs> got a couple of ladies looking through the window here. This is the chocolate deli, and I'm going to uh, come along now. Uh, so it's all handmade. So if it's a gift or for yourself, something special, come and check it out. Some lovely stuff. Going to do one more shot round at these. So it's all made on site, so uh, it all looks reasonably priced, so you get yourself a treat here, folks. Just going to go down here. Lovely. Chocolate Deli, you've got Craft Ale House. Open, welcome. There's a little, some benches out here. Let's go and have a quick look inside here. You've got mini kegs there. That's all right, okay. Some more, there's a large selection of beers here. Um, something different, you know, if you want to impress your friends with something different. They've got some lovely glasses up there. Uh, this looks like some nice crisps there as well. Uh, yeah. Real nice selection here, so come and check them out at the Genie Ring. These are nice folks here, this big stone. She thinks it's a press of some description. So yeah, come and check it out here. It's lovely. I say all friendly, friendly stuff. This is Knights Grove Handmade Meats here. Uh, I must say, lovely friendly lady in the shop. 
and uh, let's go and see what she's got to yeah, offer. All the information's on the door there as well. Okay, brilliant. <laughs> some fruit there, some nice jam. You can get some uh, vegetables over there, which are lovely, and these are all their own hang reared meat that's in these here. If all from the farm. Actually looking at that bacon it's making me feel hungry as we as we look. Absolutely fantastic. So don't forget to check this little stall egg shop when you come here to the Ginny Ring. Lovely. One more little look round. Again, lovely little shop, friendly lady, you'll get a nice welcome when you come. There she is over there. Thanks a lot. So you got some lovely produce. Thank you very so, uh, much. And thanks for letting me in the shop. Appreciate That's that. Right. Okay. This is the plant girl. Uh, going to go and have a nose in there. I'm just going to check with the owner first to make sure it's all right. And then uh, we're going to have a look inside. Looks really nice. So follow me, folks. Just had a little chat with the lady. They've recently took this uh, business on or over. Uh, so come and support them, folks. It's lovely, especially in these COVID times, to get uh, local things going. It's a lovely shop. I seem to recognise that face from somewhere. I think it was a dating site, but AO, that's another story. Uh, yeah, some lovely, unique items in here, so uh, well worth, I say it's all locally made stuff, um, and so they've got some really nice plants in here as well, so uh, I'm probably going to do two sweeps around in here, we're going to go back around the other way because there's some lovely stuff and I will go outside this is nice this display here that looks really nice I'm going to go back through because uh, yeah some nice uh, nice stuff and it's worth a little view so definitely uh, come and check these out when you uh, Come and play, give it a visit. So, uh, yeah, really nice. So, I'll go have a quick look outside and then we'll finish off from this store. It's the character heads, and not a lot of money 25 pounds. I'll pay more than that for a cup of coffee, and I'm not joking. So, uh, yeah, yeah, come and check them out. Lovely, uh, I say, uh, it's a lovely place and uh, lovely friendly uh, staff here as well which is nice so yeah yeah friendly stuff yeah hi folks this is the car park it's, it's just got a really big car park here and so there is an overflow one over there so uh, well basically <coughs> I'm going to uh, end the video now. I've had a lovely time. I must say, every person I've spoke to here, the staff, they've all been really friendly. So if you do come, you'll get a warm welcome. There's some really nice stuff. Uh, every store's got their own mark, you know, of what they sell. And it's all mainly handmade or locally sourced. Uh, the lady with the... Uh, like the butchers, the farm shop there, you couldn't meet a nicer lady anywhere, she's really nice. But opposite the stall there, the young girl, just new venture there, she's really nice and friendly. Uh, they're all nice from the leather shop, the jewellery, guitars, uh, there's so much uh, to view. You, you, you'll, well, it's, it's shocked me out which is here. So as usual, don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, i'll catch you on the next video i hope you enjoy this one folks we'll see you soon bye for now folks bye bye folks